Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are going to be talking about green screens. So as you guys can see, I have my green screen behind me. Um, normally, obviously, I would try and keep it at a frame, but I wanted to really just quick show you guys how I go through and my workflow for using uh, Premiere and After Effects to put my backgrounds using my green screen and how I do it. So I did my settings on this earlier, and I just kind of did a screen recording, um, and I'm just going to talk over it and show you guys my workflow. Okay, so once you have Premiere open, go ahead and import your footage. Uh, my file is right there, and we're just going to open that up. And then we can make our timeline uh, and our sequence based on that file. Um, just drag and drop that there. And there is our footage. Now going right into it, I can actually see right around the edges. It's kind of dark there, which isn't very good. We want to make sure we correct that later on. Um, so we're just going to right click on our file in our timeline. And then we're going to click on Replace with After Effects Composition. And once we have that, it's going to uh, ask us to save that file um, to the file that we're just opening and creating. So go ahead and save it, uh, name it and save it. And there's our file in After Effects. So that's the footage. And what we have to do first is make sure we add an effect called Key Light on it. Key Light is the default kind of chroma keys um, effect for After Effects. And then once we drag and drop that there, we'll see all the settings over on the left hand side. So what we want to do first is we're going to check the screen uh, color and we're going to make sure that's actually on the green that we have on our background. And as soon as we do that, as you can see, it changed everything to black. And then we're going to change that from final result or source, whatever yours says. And we're going to change that over to matte. What matte does is it shows us kind of how clear our background is. This ideally, ideally would be perfect black and perfect white and as you can see because of my terrible lighting it's not like that so we're going to go through and kind of play with those settings to make sure we can make it better so again that should be black should be white and let's go ahead and change that so we're going to change our screen matte options and right there you see where they clip black and they clip white that's what we're going to go ahead and change so if you increase that, you can see it gets blacker and blacker and blacker. And you want to kind of fine tune that until it's all the way black. And then you're going to do the same thing with the clip white. Um, I go ahead and just decrease that a little bit. And as you can see already, it, the silhouette of the white on the black looks a hundred times better just by playing with those settings for just like, you know, a few seconds. So once we have those the way we want it, we're going to change our view from the screen matte back over to the final result or result and as you can see it already looks a hundred times better than it did before um, just based on those setting changes alone and to be honest that's all i do i go ahead and i just make those quick setting changes i go back into my project settings and then i'm going to import my either whatever backdrop i want to put for this i'm just going to do some random picture for our purpose and then you drag and drop that down uh, behind our other layer and there it is if we want to go ahead and just change the um, scale of that you just go into the transform tools and scale it right and that's actually it it's super easy to do i mean i'm sure there's like other ways to make it look better and all that stuff but i just kind of do it quick and easy like that and it comes up for youtube purposes pretty awesome so once you have it the way you want you're just going to go ahead and save that file and then you can save the file over in uh, premiere actually if we close it you can see right away it already changed the background in um, after effects or, i'm sorry in premiere and it just carried everything over you just go ahead and save it there and, and you're done okay guys well thank you very much for watching like i said it was, those settings are super super easy to do and i hope that this video was able to help you out on your green screen footage i'll give a like and a subscribe below if you like the video and if not then that's cool too i will catch you guys in the next one that's good hey guys i hope you guys Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. Give a like below if you liked it. And I'm done. I'm just, I'm just done.